guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lisa. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look. I think that this is a really appropriate look for parties, holiday parties, New Year's Eve parties, nights out. I finally received the products that I ordered from the Sephora VIB sale. It took forever to get them in, but a couple products that I purchased that I wanted to play with are the ColourPop uh, Golden State of Mind palette, so I did use this to create this look. And then also the Peach Perfect Foundation. I was so excited to try this, uh, so I did apply this in this makeup look, and I do plan on doing a more comprehensive review on this product soon. And then um, also I, uh, I purchased this uh, Acne Control Murad Oil Control Mattifying Lotion Moisturizer, so I talk a little bit about this in the video. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so before you leave. I would love to see you in my future videos. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified when I uh, post a new video. A lot of you have been saying that you haven't been getting notified, so make sure to hit that bell notification so that you are. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first things first, let me get my hair out of the way. Uh, I think I've talked about these in a video before, but these are fantastic. If you pull your hair back a lot, but you don't want to get that crease in your hair from a ponytail holder, these do a great job of holding your hair back, but they don't leave any creases. It doesn't give a really super tight ponytail, so I don't recommend them for like working out or running or anything like that. But when you're putting your makeup on or you're washing your face or you just you're at work and you just want your hair out of your face but you don't want to get a crimp in it and then have to restyle it the next day, these are great, fantastic ponytail holders. So I did get a new moisturizer from the Sephora sale. I got the Murad Acne Control Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. I don't have acne, but I have had really oily skin lately, and I was looking for something that would control that. Uh, it has an SPF of 15. I wish it had a higher SPF. I applied it this morning, and it says it's lightweight, but my first impression is that it feels a little uh, thicker and stickier than a lightweight moisturizer. But once it's on my skin, it does feel lightweight. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky or anything. I don't know why I just got more in my hand, but we'll put a little bit more on. But it does feel thicker and like takes more time to rub into the skin. So I don't know. The jury is still out on this because this morning was literally the first time that I've worn it. So, so I have no idea if it really works and keeps my skin matte or controls oil. But I will let you guys know. I'm so excited to try this. I picked up the new Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. I didn't really have any interest in picking it up when it launched. I didn't really, I don't know, I just didn't um, have a lot of curiosity for it. But then I've seen some other YouTubers that I really respect that aren't 20 years old, that are in their 30s and 40s, and they love it. So I thought I would give it a try. Uh, I like that it says it's oil free. It's a 14 hour wear. Um, it's oil controlling and photo friendly. At least that's what it says here on the package. So all those things sound great to me. I picked up the color and I have no idea if it's the right color or not. I picked up the color natural beige because literally this is the first time that I've even taken it out of the package. I was thinking about doing a, well I will do a foundation review on this foundation for sure. I was wanting to do it today but I'm, the reason I'm not doing it today is because I'm actually going to work out after this so obviously I can't really test a foundation if I'm going to work out. Um, so this is the color of it. I still have this on from yesterday. This is that new eyeliner that I got from um, DHC, I think it's the brand. DHC. Anyway, off topic. Okay, so at first impression, it's kind of sliding down my hand, so it's not too thick in consistency. It's a thicker liquid, but it's not super runny. This color looks like it's a little dark. Okay, it's definitely darker than my face, but every foundation I wear is because my face is so pale. All right, so I'm using a beauty blender to apply it. I did hear that this has pretty good coverage, so whenever I hear a foundation that has a lot more coverage, I like to use a beauty blender. It's going on a little more sheer than I thought it would. So the color is working. I mean, when you kind of compare it to my shoulder, it works well. But I do have to blend it in really well because it is quite a bit darker than my face. It's a nice smell. It has that Too Faced peach scent that all their products do. But it's not... I don't think it's as overwhelming as some of their other products, like their palettes. Their palettes smell really strong. This to me has a faint peach smell to it. All right, so it took me a little bit more time to work it into the skin than some other foundations, but it's beautiful. That's pretty. It has a very soft, velvety, matte finish. I like it a lot. I like the way that this looks a lot. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try and apply it on the other side, but I'm going to use a brush to see how that changes the application, see if I can get a little bit more coverage out of it using less product. And of course, I don't have any of my favorite foundation brushes. Oh, no, I do. Okay, so I'm going to use the It Cosmetics 
Uh, I think this is the Heavenly Luxe Dual Ended Concealer and Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to dip it on my hand, and then I'm going to go in and just kind of stipple it onto my skin, starting in the center. Okay, yeah, this definitely gives more coverage than the Beauty Blender, but that's no surprise. Some foundations, the Beauty Blender really shears out, and some foundations doesn't do that. I think that this one is a foundation that the Beauty Blender will shear out. My skin feels really dry. I think it's that mattifying lotion. Like I'm having to really work this product into blended. I can see how it's just like kind of drying on my skin really quickly. And so I don't know if that's the foundation or if it's just the moisturizer that I applied that is mattifying. That's probably what it is. Yeah, this foundation is drying really quickly. But again, I have I think it might have to do with the moisturizer and not necessarily the foundation. Okay, this is really nice. I see why people like it. It gives good coverage, it's matte, but it doesn't look heavy. Very pretty. It does seem like it's kind of softening the pores in the center of my face. It's definitely not magnifying them or making them more apparent. It's softening them a little bit. You can still see them, but it's, I feel like it did kind of soften it. Okay, I probably have enough right now, but I have a little bit left on my hands, so I'm just gonna go in uh, and give myself a little more coverage around the nose. So I would definitely say that using a brush with this foundation is the way to go, at least for me. And again, maybe it's that moisturizer, you guys. I think it might be that that moisturizer just mattified my skin so much. I don't know. I just feel like it kind of mattified my skin so much that it made the Beauty Blender harder to apply it. Does that make sense at all? I just feel like the brush is better because I can kind of blend it a little bit better. I don't know. That is so nice. Ooh, I like that. I'm excited. Okay, I am really loving this foundation. I kind of wish I wasn't working out after this and I could really wear it throughout the day and see how I like it. Uh, but I will do a video on that soon. I'll probably film that in the next few days. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I have the shade Medium Tan. And this is a really thick product. You can see that I just use a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, it's very thick and it spreads really well, so you don't need a lot. So I apply it with my finger and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. I always start in the inner corner here and then kind of press and work my way out. Okay, now I'm going to go with the beauty blender and just blend that in. You do have to set it with a powder though. I tend to set all my concealers with a powder, but some of them are a little drier in consistency. This is not. This is a creamier product, so you definitely want to set it with a powder or you will probably have some creasing or transferring throughout the day. And two, it'll like mix with, if you have a problem with your eyeliner kind of smudging down on your face, it could either be the eyeliner or it could be the concealer that you're using. Ooh, I like this. I feel like my skin looks really good right now. I like this combination. Even this color, This the foundation is a little darker, but that concealer does kind of balance it out and brighten the center of my face. So I think I, I think that that's a good shade. I probably could go a little bit lighter in the foundation, but I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Okay, next I'm gonna go and set my under eye. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. So I dip it into the powder, but then I also kind of like blot my hand with it, just so I don't apply too much powder there. And to set the foundation, I don't really feel the need to. Yeah, I don't feel the need to. I'm not gonna set my foundation. Okay, so let's work on the eyes and then we'll finish up the rest of the face. So for eyes, I'm so excited to play with this palette. This was something that I picked up at the VIB sale. It's the uh, ColourPop Golden State of Mind eyeshadow palette. I have a few ColourPop eyeshadows that I bought probably two years ago. I think I paid like $5 a piece for those shadows and I was really impressed with the payoff. They're super shimmery, which is not something that I really um, wear a lot of, but I think for the holidays it's a fun time to wear it. Uh, I forget what I paid for this palette off Sephora's site, but I imagine that it was a pretty good price because this is not a palette that I see myself wearing very often just because all the shadows are super frosty. But I think that it does have some really beautiful colors and uh, I wanted to try it. I thought it would be a fun holiday palette. So my suspicion is, is that it's gonna work best with an eye primer that is a little tackier than the Milani. So I've been using the Milani eyeshadow primer which I have right here. But my suspicion is, is that if these are gonna adhere better to something that doesn't dry as quickly and it's a little tackier. So I grabbed the MAC Paint Pot. So I'm gonna do one eye with the MAC Paint Pot and one eye with the Milani so I can see which primer works better. I suspect that the MAC is gonna work better, but we will see. All right, so the Milani, I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my fingertip. I grabbed way too much there. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my eyelid. 
You can see the difference in these two primers kind of right off the bat. The MAC Paint Pot has color to it. It's just like a bone kind of color, but it does brighten up the eyelid. It gives more coverage, whereas the Milani is more of a transparent primer. Okay, so I am going to go in with the Simmer Shimmer Shades first. I'm not going to go into my transition quite yet. I'm going to just go in with the Shimmer Shades. So let's see what we're going to do here. There are some really beautiful colors here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try this color here in the center. So honestly, I'm looking at this palette, and I really love every single color in this palette. The only shades that stand out to me that are ones that I probably won't wear very much are this orange, this kind of cranberry color here, and then this really like icy bluish silvery shade. But the rest I could see myself wearing. I'm going to apply these with my finger. I have a feeling... Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this duochrome color here. When you look at it, it kind of looks like a soft brown, but when you turn it against the light, you can see like this greenish duochrome color. So we're gonna try that one. I think that one would be really pretty. I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. So I just loaded up my finger. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. See the intensity of this product. Yeah, this is what I remember the original ColourPop shadows that I bought in the past looked like. So they do go on really easily with your finger. This would be a really pretty color for New Year's Eve. This is fun. I don't really do looks like this on my channel, so. Okay. All right. Wow, look at that. That is insane. That looks like a loose glitter on my eyes. I'm kind of impressed by that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in and put a transition shade in my crease just to kind of balance this out, give a little more definition, and almost kind of tone down this shimmer. So for my transition shade, I'm going to go in and use this shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe this is Warm Taupe, and I'm using the 222 brush by MAC. This is also going to kind of tone down this look a little bit. Okay, I really like this. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this palette, but it's really pretty. I know not everyone wants to wear frosty metallic like this, but I really think if there's any time of the year that you can, it's now. All right, and we'll do the next time. It's really interesting to me how different this shadow looks on my eyelid than it looks in the palette. In the palette, it looks a lot more like neutral brownie, but on my eyes, it's very cool tone. You see some green, some silver, even a little bit of blue in there. All right, let me see if there's another shade in here that I could use. Okay, so I kind of want to deepen this up a little bit, and I think I'm going to use this purple right here. Do, this, do these shades have names? Yes, okay, so this purple is called Heads or Tails. Um, and I'm going to apply a little bit of this just in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to use a, a 242 brush by MAC. So it's just a really small, synthetic, flat, dense brush. And I'm going to load the side of the brush up and tap off any excess. And then I'm just going to go in and apply this right in the outer corner. Okay, I'm not sure if this is making much of a difference. A little bit, not much. I think it is harder to mix really metallic sh shadows like this. It's harder to mix them and get the payoff of each. I think it's harder to mix like really metallic shadows like this because they are so light reflective that when you pack them on top of each other, they both reflect so much light that you're kind of lose you're losing some of the color integrity, if that makes sense. So it's kind of one of those palettes that you pick one or two to use, but you can't really mix them all together. Try to use my finger and see if that helps. Yeah, that helps. Okay. So yeah, your finger is kind of the way to go here. I'm gonna use my finger to apply that and then I'll just use a brush to just blend the two together a little better. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in the front of my brow. That's kind of all that I do these days since I've had microblading done. If you're curious about microblading and you haven't seen my microblading videos, I'll leave those linked down below. But I uh, did a video on my initial appointment and process, frequently asked questions, and then I just recently posted my like 12 week follow up to microblading, so you can check that out. I also show you what my brows looked like before I had microblading done so you can really see the difference. And I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and go over this. Because even though I don't have a lot of hairs, the hairs that I do have are a little long and they kind of wanna go the opposite direction. For my liner, I'm gonna play with this new DHC liquid eyeliner. This was gifted to me by a derm store. It came in a little holiday set with a deep cleansing oil. And um, I applied this on my hand yesterday and actually it just came off, but I, even after I showered, it was still on and didn't budge, so. So it's the DHC Liquid Eyeliner Perfect Pro Makeup. 
and I'm laying it on its side. I just want a really fine black line. I don't want anything too thick. I am just gonna pull this out a little bit. Okay, for my lower lash line, I'm going to line my lower lash line with the Pixie uh, eyeliner. I'm using the shade Bronze Beam, and I'm just going to go about halfway in. I don't take my liner all the way in. I am going to go over this with a ColourPop shadow, though. I'm going to go over it with the silvery purple shade from the ColourPop. This is the one that I put in the outer corner. I'm just going to go over that liner. I need a mirror that's a little closer to do this. Okay, and I think I do want to pop a little bit of brightness right here in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to use the brightest shade in here, which could go terribly wrong, or it could look really nice. We'll see. So I'm just going to dip my pinky. I didn't, like, dig it into there. I kind of just, like, dipped it. And I'm just, oop. Yeah, I'm just going to lightly press. Yeah, I think that's nice. Okay, so the key is just not digging your finger in there. Really just kind of, I'll show you. So, ooh. So I just kind of did this so you can see the level that got onto my pinky instead of doing this. You see the difference? So I just tapped it in. So this is just a tap, this is digging it in. If I were to go in my skin with the finger that I dig, you know, dug into the product, it would be like, whoa, wouldn't look so flattering. But when I just go in with the finger that I lightly tapped, you can see the difference between the two payoffs. So in the inner corner, I wanted something really soft and light but bright. All right, then we need a little mascara. My lash extensions are uh, due for a fill, so I am gonna put a little bit of mascara on my lash extensions. If I didn't have lash extensions, I would be putting in false lashes right now. I think this look would be really beautiful with false lashes, just a nice full lash. Because the shadow is brighter and it's not so dark, I think that, the, that a really full dark lash would really complement this eye makeup. All right, next let's go back to the face. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. This is my favorite bronzer. It's gonna kind of warm up my skin a little bit. So even though I didn't set the foundation with powder, the bronzer is going on really nicely. It's not sticking anywhere. For blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Luminoso. I chose this blush because it's kind of a soft, sheer but with a little bit of shimmer blush and I just think it's nice. I didn't want a whole lot of color on my cheeks because the eyes are kind of the focal point for this look. I didn't want my cheeks to be competing with my eyes. So I just wanted something that was going to give a little bit of color on the cheeks and just play with the eyes nicely. And last for lips, I'm going to use one of my new Jouer lip creams. Uh, this I featured in my Derm Store beauty gift guide. Uh, I really like, which one am I going to do? Hmm, okay. I think I'm going to do, I want to do something a little cool toned. I'm going to do the shade Tawny Rose. It looks really pretty. It looks like a really nice kind of mauve pink. These guys are super tiny. I could see how you would go through these really quickly, but it is a good opportunity to see what colors you really like before you, uh, so, you know, spend the money on a full size product. They smell nice too. So I like to do one sheer layer, kind of press the lips together, give it time to settle a little bit, and then I'll go in and add a little bit more if I want to build the coverage. So I don't really feel the need to use a lip liner when I'm working with lip stains or uh, lip paints or really long wear dry lip products like this. I find that I can create the look of a lip liner with the product and because it is a stay in place product, I don't have to worry that it's gonna transfer like a lip gloss or a creamy lipstick would. You can see that I've kind of created a lip line there. All right, I'm gonna let that set for a second. So once this has time to set, I'm gonna apply the Laura Mercier Lip Glaze in the shade Violet right on top. Really just focus in the center of my lips to make my lips look a little more full. It has a really fine shimmer to it, so it's gonna complement the shimmer in the eyes. I think it'll just pull the whole look together. I love these lip creams. I am so happy they sent these to me. I'm going to order some of the larger ones because I really like the consistency. I typically don't like a product like this, but I really like these. <laughs> these smell so good. I had these on the other day and I kissed my daughter and she said, mommy, your lips smell so good. All right. So I'm just going to go over this in the center. 
What's great about these lip glosses is they're pretty sheer. They don't have a ton of color, especially the shimmer ones. So you can put them on top of a lip product like the Jouer that you really love the color and it's not going to alter the color too much. It's just going to give some shine and some light reflective shimmer. All right, and that wraps up this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me all your questions and comments below. I have to say I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of this palette when it came in the mail just because it is so metallic and so uh, shimmery and I, those aren't really formulas that I grab for a lot, but I think it looks really, really nice. And I think it'd be perfect for a holiday, for parties, for nights out. I think why not, you know? Let me know what you think about this look in the comment section below. If you want me to film the peach foundation review soon, let me know that too. I plan on doing that anyway, but I do have some other videos that um, I'm planning for this month, so I would love to know kind of how to prioritize my schedule based on what you guys want to see. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.